Okay guys, today I'm gonna do some target shooting with my air rifle, which is Cometa Lynx V10 Mark II. Now I'm still struggling to find the right pellet for my air rifle, so I bought three types of Cometa GSBs thinking this has gotta be the fastest way to do just that. I'm also gonna use some regular GSBs for these tests, just to see how do they compare. But before we can get into that, I feel like I need to add a few words about the type of the pellets that this gun likes and about the luck which I had so far in acquiring those pellets. This is the 24 Jules version and I believe that this is where the matter of accuracy gets a little complicated. Due to its reduced power, the Lynx only likes pellets with thin skirts because they do expand easily under lower air pressures. The very first pellets that I bought for the gun were the Cometa GSB Jumbo Heavies and because they had thin skirts I managed to get some pretty decent one hole sized group at the range of 35 meters. When I eventually ran out I bought the regular GSB Jumbo Heavies thinking it's gonna be the same pellet. I was wrong. Turns out they are using different dyes for this type of pellets and their skirts have really thick walls. Some of the groups I got out of these are not even measurable. So naturally with the next purchase I switched back to Cometa GSBs but sadly enough it turns out the pellets from this batch have the skirts even more thicker than the regular ones. So what we see here are two identical tin cans that theoretically should contain identical pellets. They do not. A quick look on the back of the tins and some little internal research reveals that different pressing dies were used to manufacture the pellets inside. The first two numbers starting the long string are actually the number of the pressing die which was used to shape the pellets. The, the ones on the left are made with pressing die 19 and they have thin soft lead skirts while the ones on the right are made with pressing die 48. As you can see, these are very different pellets. In the future, when I reorder, I'll have to specifically ask the store if they own Cometas made on pressing die 19, as these are the only ones my Lynx actually likes. But um, until then, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to work with what I have available for, uh, for today. So I'll be doing some 13 shots groups at the range of 35 meters with uh, each one of these uh, type of pellets. That's, uh, that's as many pellets as the magazine can hold at once. Uh, so the first two pellets are the Jumbo Heavies. The first one is from the red tin can, while the second is from the blue one. The, the third one, it's a, it's a lighter version of the Cometa GSB Jumbo. Uh, it's called the Express and it weighs 14.35 grains. I actually expect this one to perform the worst because it is lighter yet somehow it still has a really thick skirt. You see what they just did uh, to make it weight less they subtracted all that lead from the bottom of the skirt, not from the walls. So that won't work with me because what I basically have now, it's a pellet with the same thick skirt as the Jumbo Heavy and the lower BC due to its weight. So all the disadvantages right there, but none of the benefits. The fourth one, it's called Jumbo RS and this one is the lightest pellet coming from Cometa for the 22 caliber. This one weights only 13.43 grains. 
I'm actually excited to see this one in action because it really has a, a, a very thin skirt. I only bought one thin can of these uh, and they are not in a good condition. Uh, most of them have distorted skirts and uh, even small dents. But uh, despite that and this lower BC uh, due to its reduced weight, I actually do expect it to perform the best because of the skirt. And the fifth one is um, actually my favorite. This one is a workaround of mine for the thick skirt problem. What I basically did is that I took the GSBs from the red tin cans and I uh, forced open their skirts using a BB steel ball. So when I did this, I was hoping that the wider skirt will require less air pressure to properly expand and seal the bore. To be honest, I, I already know how shooting this will turn out, as I did it before. I was happy with the outcome, and I'm gonna be doing it again anyways, because, well, I just love shooting my air rifle. Okay, that's enough said. Let's get to the shooting.
Well, I can't say I'm disappointed since all of my expectations basically died out the moment I saw what's in the tin cans for the first time. 24 jewel slings and pellets with thick skirts, they just won't mix. Fortunately, the RS and the modified GSBs did just fine. Actually, the modified GSB is the winner here and I do intend to apply the mod to the others and make a video shooting them. But uh, that's a story for another time I guess. Until then, take care and thank you for watching.